Hello everybody, this is Sharice. Welcome back to a new video, Share from 2000. And in this video, I will be sharing my thoughts on my top 10 Tara Strong characters in honor of her birthday. Um, Tara Strong is one of my favorite voice actors of all time. She has this extremely long resume, so I kind of wanted to make it a little simple, short, and sweet. Plus, I also needed a video for February, and her birthday is in February, so perfect timing. And also along the way, I will be trying to um, do um, some impressions of the characters that she's voiced that are on this list. So that's that's going to be very interesting. I have some honorable mentions on my phone here, which includes Ashi from Samurai Jack. I just love her style. She's completely badass. A uh, Batgirl from, like, various DC projects. I know she did, like... Uh, Batgirl and the new Batman adventure of uh, adventures and uh, DC superhero girls the second generation uh, Dill pickles from Rugrats. I mean poopy. I'm like that's so cute And I think she also did dill pickles in all grown up as well uh, Katya from Bratz. I gotta give a shout out to my home girl. I freaking love Katya and I love Jeannie magic I mean who knows I might do uh, Bratz later on in the future. Let me know if I should and finally, Truffles from Chowder. I mean, Chowder, Chowder is such a hilarious show. I got, I got to rewatch that because it's, it's one of my favorite shows from Cartoon Network and I grew up with it. So, anyways, let's get started. Okay, guys, so number 10 is Hello Kitty from Hello Kitty's Furry Tale Theater. I believe, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, this was her actual very first role as a voice actress and she was only 13 years old which is very astounding I mean that this is just amazing how a 13 year old can be like this cute little cartoon cat and it's just all oh. I grew up with this uh Hello Kitty sh show because I I love fairy tales so they did, they did like a lot of fairy tales like you know like Wizard of Oz and Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella but then they also did some other genres too like they did Star Wars and they did Jaws and E.T. and Dracula. And I'm like, they're doing Jaws for this cute little kids show about a talking cat running a theater. I love the different adventures that they tell th throughout the stories and everything. They kind of put their own little twists in the fairy tales while still trying to stay to the original plot points. Um, but yeah, it's just a very fun, cute little character. And it's amazing how she started out as this character and just went on to do so much more and uh yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about hello kitty so <clears throat> hello kitty's fairy tale theater is proud to present the wizard of Oz. so number nine is omi from shaolin showdown and shaolin chronicles uh i i love martial arts shows like tmnt and power rangers jackie chan adventures um, and of course this. I did not know Tara was this character until like a couple years ago and I'm like wow she was able to like disguise her voice. This cute little character can just has so much charisma. He is very serious and he can be very arrogant at times seeing how he wants to be like the chosen one. He wants to defeat all the evil in the Halen Empire and um but Omi's a skilled fighter. He he has the water uh uh base powers or something like that. Um, I like how he kind of messes up like the modern slang and phrases. He's like, we got to get to the top of this, and the other's like, no, it's the bottom of it. Was, he gets confused. It's but he's he's so cute. Um, I gotta rewatch it though because there's just so much fun mo funny moments with Omi. I don't really remember too much of Shaolin Chronicles other than that it was kind of meh. And I think he also, and I think, uh, he, I'm sorry, Tara did ping pong, uh, Omi's little cousin, was it a cousin? I think it was a cousin. I don't know, but, um, yeah, uh, I think Omi's a really fun, cool, quirky character. And this one is probably the hardest voice to intimidate, uh, to, um, to impersonate because I'm a little nervous I'm going to offend somebody. <laughs> I will do my best. She's young. I challenge you to a Shaolin Showdown! Gon he tumpai! Hey y'all, guess who's number 8? Miss Minutes from Loki. I noticed with a lot of Tara Strong characters, she usually voices something cute, or terrifying, 
or a combination of both. They always say that you have to watch out for the cute and terrifying. And Miss Menace is definitely cute and terrifying. Like, oh gosh, I still have flashbacks. So that, hey y'all, with the, oh God, the jump scare. <laughs> God. I totally freaked out when I found out that she was voicing Miss Minutes for the series. I mean, it's just so amazing. Someone from my childhood that's voiced pretty much almost everything from my childhood is in an MCU project. I mean, she's like this cute little mascot, and yet she's just something sinister and mysterious behind her. Like, she has deeper motivations, and I hope we get to explore that more. I don't know if she's supposed to be in Ant-Man Quantumadium. I mean, she was there at the red carpet uh, a couple weeks ago. So, who knows? Maybe she might cameo or make some type of appearance in Ant-Man. But, um, Loki, the season two of Loki is supposed to come out, I believe, this year. So, we're definitely going to get some more Miss Minutes. So, uh, until then, I guess we'll see her later. Oh, but I got to do one more thing. Hi, y'all. I miss minutes, and it's my job to catch you before you stand trial for your crimes. So let's not waste another time. Settle in, sharpen your pencils, and check this out. Well, folks, looks like we got a wild card, and she could be a bit of a poker face. I know, card puns. But number seven is Harley Quinn from various DC projects. I mean, DC Superhero Girls, Injustice 2, I mean... There's just countless different ones that uh, Tara did for Harley. And she's just very loud, very crazy, funny. She could be a little bit obnoxious. But, you know, it's Harley Quinn. I mean, what, you, you, you got what you got, man. I mean, I know there's some people that complain that she sounds too much like a grown-up Timmy Turner. Don't worry, we're going to get to him very soon. But I actually like her take on Harley Quinn. It's just a little bit more sadistic and a little bit more crazy she just has that more raspy voice into it kind of like timmy turner but there's just she just makes it her own and she just puts the fun in phenomenal she just has a lot of like spunk and just again she's a wild card and she's just amazing to watch she is very entertaining and um probably one of my favorite iterations of harley quinn is injustice 2 I don't play video games, but I love to listen to, like, the voiceovers, like, the little different cutscenes, just to see if I can recognize the different characters being voiced by my favorite voice actors. It's, it's Harley Quinn for Injustice 2, Tara Strong. I mean, it was just a very strong performance. I love her acting. I love the different, like, interactions she has with the other characters. It's just totally awesome. So I'll try to do a few a few bits here from the, from the uh, video games. Hey, a lightning lad! You dare to mock me, child! You dare to mock me, child! Dr. Isley! Dr. Quinzel! Oh, I love when you play doctor! You're breaking my heart, Red! Ugh! I can't work with this! Well, speaking of Timmy Turner, number six is Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents. I love watching the Fairly Odd Parents, you know, growing up. It was just one of those cute, amazing, funny Nickelodeon shows. And, oh my gosh, the humor in this is so hilarious. Uh, Timmy can be a little bit selfish, especially when he makes his wishes. But, you know, he, he's a kid, you know. Kids always like to make selfish thoughts. They always have selfish thoughts, but then they usually come around at the very end. And I always feel bad for Timmy because of everyone around him is a complete jerk his parents like they will never get mother or father of the year they're so neglecting of their own child and vicky oh vicky the babysitter oh, god uh oh who crocker he's like fairy godparents i'm like oh god i just feel bad for him i mean i guess that's why he has the the, the, the uh fairy godparents because his life sucks. I just love his uh, interactions with all the other characters and how Cosmo and Wanda are always so supportive of him and they try to do his best to accommodate his wishes even though they usually go horribly wrong. Um, I love the different crossovers, especially uh, Jimmy Timmy uh, Power Hour and Channel Chasers and Abracatastrophe. And yeah, I just, I just think Timmy is a pretty cool character. And this is going to be another difficult 
voice to impersonate, but I will do my best. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have no voice by the end of this recording. Here we go. Cool! Uh, the internet? I don't care what my therapist says, I'll always love you, Chixie Tank! I wish for... Insert wish here. Oh, come on! I wish every day would be Christmas! Okay, I'm gonna stop before I lose my voice. <laughs>